Hello my angels and devils and all who may wander here. I'm Amanda Christina, this is Heavenly Imaginings and this is What's in the Box in the Box. What's in the Box in the Box. This is an order that's been waiting to be filmed for a couple of months. Actually it was filmed but I had the crackly microphone. I'm hoping that issue has been fixed. This is from Auntie Vera Scrap and Craft. She had an amazing sale on on dyes and things and I couldn't resist. She had Gorgeous Girls for $5.50 each. So I got two of these ones. One of these is going to a friend. Um, so that's the Pom Pom Girl. That's Auntie Vera's evil craft enabler. She sure is. Um, I love this one just for the simplicity. Um, and these are large ones, but they're not too huge. Um, I picked these up for $5.50 each. I couldn't resist. I love this girl with the little rabbit dress. And then we have um, the rose. And I really love her. She's. I have her in a big stamp, a small stamp, and this, I think. Or I have the big... Yeah, I'm not sure. I can't remember now. But I do have... I, I do have a fair bit of gorgeous. I haven't used it for a while. I did also pick up two of these Spider-Man dies because, as you know, I'm a big nerd. And my brother-in-law is actually a huge Spider-Man fan. Unfortunately, we missed out on the other dies she had in the collection. I would really... I just... I've been trying to get as many of them as I can afford to when I can. Unfortunately, they're not making them anymore. This is Olaf. I think I have the knockoff version of him, but it wasn't deliberate. I just... Yeah. So he was five fifty, and then we have the bell which i have a feeling i already have this a couple of times so that'll go in my to to share with other people stash i did grab a pitch black alcohol ink and that's to do with some resin work um a candy apple distress ink reinker because i'm trying to get the distress reinkers that i need for the colors that i still don't have in just ordinary and then i grabbed these tim holtz uh, Christmas tokens that were, I think these were five fifty as well, but, or, or, yeah, they were on sale, so I grabbed some of those. I grabbed these dies and stamps. This was another die that was five fifty, and I just thought it was super cute. Um, and the kangaroo, because I don't have any kangaroos, and they were five fifty. And then these were 2 to $3 each, I think. And there's, unfortunately, the stamp that just says G'day was sold out. So I got the um, Australia to stamp on Happy Mail from here. I thought that would be nice for overseas. The Made in Australia. And, of course, the Opera House. with The Opera House with the Harbour Bridge because they are two of my favourite places in Sydney to be. Um, then I also grabbed these Tim Holtz Ideology photo, photo booth things. I have a punch that I am hope that punches out film strips so I'm hoping will work really well to make those into embellishments. I have I got gifted fossilized amber in distress oxide. I have this already so this is going to go to a friend of mine in our slot because why not? I'm happy to gift things. And I also got a lovely perfect princess um, ephemera pack and that is hopefully we'll see if it'll are you going to function? Are you going to? Yeah. Hopefully you could see that. And the other thing I got, I would have liked to have gotten this in the bigger paper as well, or get more of it because it is so beautiful. I don't know if you've noticed, but Australia seems to be in with a lot of crafting companies, and they are doing beautiful, beautiful paper ranges. And this is Sunburnt Country by Couture Creations, who are the creators of the stamps as well. Like, look at this. Look at just how gorgeous this is. Um, I, I Like, I, I never managed to get under the gum trees from Kayser Craft. They had another collection out recently that I didn't get hold of. Um, and someone else, it's, oh, I can't think who it is. Um, but someone else has done a beautiful collection with some Australia flora and fauna. And it is just beautiful. Look at the magpies. My mum loves magpies. And then the wood grain. Um, the galas and sort of more of the more cracked kind of um, tree bark. And we've got the waratahs, not waratahs, banksias, I can't remember. And then we've got like floorboards and these little flowers. I think they're gum nuts because I'm pretty sure they look a little bit like the gum nut babies. 
and then this just has words then we have bottle brush and just some really nice green pattern and we have some cut aparts which are so lovely this would be beautiful and then like Aussie words so I'm going to do my best Aussie impersonation for you all now um, too easy Australia good on ya g'day mate how you going oh yeah I'm chock-a-block um, I think that's about it <laughs> So you got my attempt at being very, very fed income Australian. And then we have this beautiful cut apart sheet with all the birds and the florals. And then that just has more cracked earth at the back. And I just couldn't resist that. It was just such a beautiful celebration of Australia. And that is everything from Auntie Vera's Scrap and Craft. I can finally put this all away. Woohoo! I will talk to you all soon, my angels and devils. Let me know below what your favourite part of my order is. And use the code word Australia because I haven't put a code word in a video for a while. Talk to you soon, my angels and devils. Bye.